equipment starts with, I have a stretch rope, I have my running shoes, I have my racing flats, I have my spikes, which are all necessary depending on the day of training. I always need to stretch properly. I use a nice, comfortable running shoe to do my warm up. Then my intervals are mostly done in my racing flats, which is a little thinner shoe. And when I need to hurdle or faster things, I'll put my spikes on. All are essential because they all have their, their purpose. Uh, my spikes so I can, when I do hurdle and do faster things, I can simulate race uh, strategy and race tempo. And, I mean, there are a lot of different sizes uh, pins or spikes that go into your shoes. So depending on the surface you're running on will dictate which pins you use for that competition. For instance, Zurich changed their surface last year to a harder surface. It was actually kind of slippery. And sometimes it rains there, sometimes it's, it doesn't rain, but it was almost everyone had to change to a needle type spike because people were slipping. Uh, because if you didn't have a sharp enough pin in your spikes, you couldn't get into the track. So just depending on the track surface uh, would determine what type of pins or spikes you put in your shoes. I don't want to be in my spikes too long because then that can cause injury. My racing flats are so I can do my intervals and be able to last the whole session. And then my trainers I use as a warm-up. It was almost like in because they're so heavy, when I take them off and I actually put on the lighter spikes or the lighter racing flats, I feel lighter and I feel faster. So it all helps in the warm up. So it's almost kind of like stripping down. The faster I want to go, the lighter shoe I put on. 